I don't think I'll be able to smelt these down for more steel, but I mean, I guess I can sell them. So, I'll just make all these clubs. Get rid of the steel ingots. And then break down some leather. Since I'm out of leather strips. Oh, it was under the leather, that's why. Okay, the book is actually down here somewhere. Um, break these down. There it is. First of the Wyatt's Nordic Tale. Perfect. Alright. These. Solid. Now I should have enough to make. Let's check the Nordic here, because that's what I should have access to now is the new Nordic armor, and I do not. What? Okay, I might need to do a little bit of like figuring out of some of this stuff. It's been a long time since I played with it, and uh, I'll probably need to kind of look at things on the back end when I'm not recording. Yeah, I'll worry about all this later. Made some good progress, at least with the smithing, and um, I will end up dropping off all this stuff at home. We'll end up sleeping for the night and then head out for maybe one last dungeon. Uh, the slow RP walk through town. <laughs> Use this one. It's those dragon bones and dragon scales that just end up taking the most amount of inventory space. It's kind of crazy. Now I will want to start stockpiling these iron ingots because, like, yeah, it would be good for smithing experience to turn them into daggers, but if I plan on doing any of the house building stuff eventually here. I will need a lot of that. I should hang on to one moonstone ingot so that I can upgrade the dagger that I have. Put that in there. And then there was a gem that I wanted to pull out. Calcite. And these will all end up going upstairs into the safe. Try to put oh, wow, still over encumbered. That's crazy. Oh, I did have all that food that can go down in here. actually a lot more food than I thought. And that takes up a lot of space too. I will keep the salmon because that's a good stackable item since you tend to get a lot of it in the game in general. Ha! Huh. Somebody stole my sweet roll. But I got it back. And the drinks in here. Now, I noticed that I put this wine in here before and I know some people would probably be like, Ew, why are you putting wine in the cooler? But this is like trashy Skyrim wine. Like this is not good. It's probably better to have it chilled because it kind of, you know, alleviates some of the awful taste from it. I would assume that Skyrim wine is probably pretty just gnar in general. Still over encumbered. Wow. Okay. 
I'm wondering what I'm carrying on me that's so heavy. I do have some stuff to disenchant though, so this will be good. Get some enchanting levels out of this. I mean, yeah, the money would be nice, but I want to try to get the enchanting levels up as quickly as I can. It'll be really useful to start making my own enchanted gear that has um, mana cost reduction for destruction spells. It'll just mean being able to fight for a lot longer. Uh, I'm oh. Okay, that's kind of spooky. Why is that there? That's oh, that's a little, it's a little unsettling. <laughs> the mannequins are moving on their own. <laughs> oh no, this place is haunted. All right, put all this in here. That's so strange. I've never seen that before. Oh, I do actually need that. Gotta pull that back out. How's that moonstone? Oh, that's just so weird. Wait, you know what? I wonder if I put armor on it from here. Let's see if it puts it back into place. Actually, before I do that. <laughs> just, you know, on the off chance that it'll you know, break the whole game to put armor on it when it's off of its stand. Aha! Yeah. Go back to your spot. Oh, it's so creepy. Alright, well, um... <laughs> that is a new one for me, for sure. Now let's see what else I have. I st you know... I'm surprised that I couldn't smelt this down, even though it's steel, but I'll just end up selling all this stuff over at the trader anyway. Um, now, I did actually want to put the college robes and the college boots onto him. Just, you know, these are these were given to me by the Mage's College, and, you know, so this is, this is a a monument to my being accepted into the into the college so you know we'll, we'll put that on there and it looks kind of cool actually i think i also have a a hood i can put on it i believe yeah nice okay that looks cool and eventually once i get a mask i can put the mask on him and you know yep yeah, go to sleep since it's night time and I'll go sell the items in town and then probably go try and hit <laughs> just yes, one more smiling. location. Excuse me, miss. Can... Oh, for the first time she actually backed off. That's crazy. Usually she just stands there staring at me like, what do you want? We'll drop off all of these ingredients. from that run so I think maybe in the next episode I will probably end up doing a little bit of alchemy level that up we could have oh I do have some I guess that's not really taking up too much space food's done that's not taking up space I should probably sell some of these potions because that's starting to take up space. And yeah, I think we're all set. So. We'll save it here. What's on your mind? All right, where is the next location? Now, I did need to come up here to High Hrothgar, which means 
coming to Iverstead. This is where you're supposed to go, which as you can see, is I have to go all the way around this path, come down here into this valley, and then go up these switchbacks. This is actually higher ground, and then come up this road to Iverstead. Once I'm here, then I have to go up this road and up this path and all the way back around the mountain following this road back up to High Hrothgar. So that is going to be a trek. Um, so I think I'm going to wait on that until I get a horse. That's kind of what I was thinking, is that at least a horse will cut down this journey significantly. Um, now my other option is that I could take a cart over here to Riften, and then I could walk this road since it's level ground. And yes, there's a couple, you know, there's like a bandit camp and there's probably some bad things that I'll end up having to fight as I go through here. But this will be a much shorter trip that goes straight to Iverstead. But even still, even if I do that, then I have to go all the way through this pass without a horse. And, you know, you run into the whole thing of frostbite and all that stuff. So this might be kind of a rough journey to get to that next part for the main story. So I think maybe I'll hold off on that until I figure out whether I'm going to do the horse or whether I'm going to go from Riften. Um, and I think for now, since... Since it is getting a little bit late, I think maybe I'll work my way back over here. There is an enemy over here that I want to try and fight, and then maybe we'll go and do a little bit of mining. So, yeah, I think that's the plan. I'm gonna head back to Riverwood. Um, oh, that's right, I needed to sell some items before we go. I was like, dang, I still have quite a bit of weight on me. Oh, grab that tiger cotton. Wait. Weren't you behind me? <laughs> He's like, uh, what was she doing in the back? <laughs> still here. Where's Bellathor? Hold on. Where's the man? I work for at the General Goods Store. Ooh. Now, obviously, it's stealing if we take the book, but we can still read it on the shelf without causing any problems. Oh, there's that. There's that jade dragon. We're not gonna steal it. We're we are good, good-hearted folk. We're not gonna steal Belthor's items. But I'm right behind you. Where is he? I'm so confused. He is not here. Okay. I guess no Belthor. That's fine. I'll end up just selling the items at the smith. Um, yeah, the town seems awfully empty right now. It's kind of strange. Usually it's a little bit more bustling than this. Oh, you know what? What time is it? Oh, this is why. It's still 8 a.m. So I think if I wait an hour, I've got your back. <clears throat> everything should kind of pick back up. Maybe not. One more hour. In the meantime, we'll eat some salmon steak, drink some water. Wait one more hour. It is 9 a.m., so everything should. Yes, my lady. Hmm. Good morning. Where's Adrian, though? Well, the war maidens should at least be open. Let me know if you see anything you like. Um. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go look into fighting a battle. Here, a little lord. With... Um, you don't really know a woman till you have a strong drink. And a fist fight with her. I'm right behind you. I don't know how to feel about that comment. 
you won't know a woman until you've had a strong drink and a fist fight with her. Ah, uh, that. I'm not touching that. That's <laughs> that's dangerous territory right there. Yes. All right, let's let's see what she's got. Finest weapons and armor. We'll sell that. Okay, that that's definitely taking up a lot of inventory space. So the Orcish Dagger, and... Oh, it was the 12 Steel Clubs. <laughs> That's a lot of weight. Alright. So that too, and that. Okay, and that was like my whole inventory, so... Stay sharp. And then upgrade the Dagger. Ooh, flawless. So one step up even than superior. That's awesome. Okay, and what does that... Okay, so it puts it up to 18 damage. Which is really good for the fact that I don't have a single point in the one-handed tree. So we'll take that. That's awesome. Now, I do have a thousand gold. I kind of want to buy the horse. But I believe that I should wait. Um, just because I may end up... Now, this is something I was kind of thinking about before. When I was talking about that special ring that I've been trying to uh, maybe find from from the Khajiit that is out here. He's not here right now, but he usually has it. Um, oh, yeah, these people are still cowering from that dragon fight earlier. I'm sure I, if I just exit out of the game and then reload, it'll be fine. But I don't want to spend the thousand gold right now to buy a horse. It would be super convenient for, you know, running around. But I want to have the money just in case that ring appears. Uh, because if it does, that will mean money generating. And it's actually broken. Because you can equip each of the different rings. So there's different rarity levels to it. I believe the lowest quality ring generates i think it's three gold every 10 minutes in your inventory the next one up is five gold every 10 minutes and the next one up is 10 gold every 10 minutes and then i think there may even actually be a 15 gold one i don't remember for sure but i believe that there is and you can since i have um unlimited or whatever it's i, I can wear 10 rings and multiple necklaces so I can actually equip all the rings and be making, I believe it's 30 gold every 10 minutes, which again, you know, it, it's not really that much gold, 30 gold, but when you're thinking of it long term over, you know, a bunch of recordings, uh, multiple episodes, eventually that ends up stacking up to thousands of gold and it's all free. So, I mean, well, obviously not free because you have to get the rings in the first place and sometimes you have to buy them, but you, you can find them as loot. It is, it's just a random enchant that you can find on a ring. So it is possible to find a ring that has it and just be making passive gold. Um, and obviously, even if you have to spend a thousand plus gold on it, eventually the ring is going to pay for itself just by having it equipped. So super convenient yeah, so i gotta cross my fingers that i actually end up finding one and i'm really sad because i was looking over some footage from a couple episodes ago and i believe that uh, belathor actually had the ring on him and i didn't notice it because i was so caught up with looking for paper so i'm gonna need to be a lot more mindful when i'm actually checking these traders because it, it can it can randomly show up on any Thank of the traders. So much for taking um, care of I thought that it was oh, only off of the Khajiit, but after seeing that footage, I was like, oh no, I missed out. So that's kind of sad, but... Ooh. That's, that's cool. I like that glowing purple effect on there. That looks awesome. That's a strong ring. 
Absorbs health based on level from enemies within eight feet. That's kind of cool, but I don't have enough for that. And I would rather go for the gold ring. So I'm going to hang on to the money for now. And we are going to go over onto the other side of the river from here and try and find that enemy that was over here before. The magic spot of disappearing ground. Ooh, spooky. I almost don't, don't even want to walk over that spot just on the off chance that for some reason the ground there is just not registering and it ends up killing me. Just falling through into nothingness. over here before, but I don't see them. And I think that the enemy is just up in this grove of trees, so I'm going to summon her. Save it quick. What is that? Treasure Hunter? What is this? A note from a treasure hunter? Interesting. See, I like finding stuff like that. Let's see if we can't find some treasure, huh? Uh, books. Note from a treasure hunter. Explore Harmugstall and recover the Imperial Bow of Scorching. It's apparently guarded by a Cornalis. What is a Cornelis? I have never heard that name before. That must be some t some type of mythical animal or something. I don't know. I've never heard of that before. But I will I will save it because I, I that's a, that's a good find. In fact, I think that even deserves a hard save. It's been a while since I did that, so. All right. I think the enemy is just up on the other side of this ridge. I thought it was over here, but... Okay, yeah. I think he's just over here in these trees. Was where I spotted him last time, but... I don't know. And, and for all I know, he might not even be here. Oh! There he is. Okay, here we go. This guy is no joke. He, he's basically like a giant. So... I gotta... Oh my, look, I do no damage to him. What is that? Oh, oh yeah, I don't want to get hit by that brand. Oh, he just one-shot her. Oh my god. Oh my god. At least he's slow. Oh, could you imagine if he was just, like, sprinting at me? Oh, that just sounds horrifying. Alright, well, this should be decent, um, decent XP. Yo, did he just... Where'd she go? He literally stomped her into the ground. Oh my god. What's the matter? You can't climb this little tiny ledge? You know... I think I have a bunch of these magic potions. I should probably use up a couple of them. I mean, they're just minor potions anyway. And it will make us go a lot faster. Oh, look, she came back. Oh my god. I do absolutely no damage to this guy. Oh. I swear he's like sending her flying in the air or something like that. He's hitting her so hard, he's despawning her. Like, what? <laughs> okay, well, I think this rock is a little bit cheap, but I'm not complaining. Okay, now, I know I'm supposed to be using the left hand, but 
but I, I wonder if my flame spell is actually going to do more damage to him. Also, wait, what happened to his branch? Did he hit her so hard with the branch that he broke it? Oh, nope, there it goes. Oh. Poor Lydia is just getting smoked by this guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. I'm pretty sure if I get hit by that, I am very dead. <laughs> Now I know if I summon the Conjuration Pet, um, he'll die a lot faster, but obviously I want to try and get as much destruction experience out of this as I can, seeing as how I, I don't get very much in general. Um, it takes a long time to level destruction, so I'm just going to kind of keep kiting him around, let the, stamina, or let the magic regenerate, and uh, keep fighting this guy. Oh man. Poor Lydia. She keeps going in like, I'll save you. And then he just kind of punches her and she goes down. Lydia, no. Alright. Yeah. At least he's not fast. Dear God, that would be horrifying. I just, I, I can picture it as like a, almost like a rage infected zombie style where he's just like, just running at you full speed. Yeah, I think he just, oh my God. <laughs> he literally just sent her off into the stratosphere. Oh no. Okay, that just goes to show. Oh, oh she, she just bounced off that rock. I'm so happy that I got to see that. I mean, I feel bad for her, because she's just really getting destroyed by this guy. But that was hilarious. That, that's definitely mean quality right there, for sure. Okay, okay, he's almost down. That was wild. I've never seen that before. I mean, I've, I've seen it happen to myself when I got hit by a giant and got sent flying into the air, but um, you basically die instantly when that happens. So. taproot. <laughs> hey, uh, Lydia. Oh, she's just so done with everything. She's like, I'm gonna go punch this fox. Oh, I accidentally took her weapons. That's why. Oh no, I gotta give her, I gotta get her a weapon. I just, <laughs> right, because I took the elven warhammer and I smelted it down to upgrade the uh, dagger. Alright, well, that was a interesting fight, and uh, I, think, I think that's uh, going to be it. Head back to town, and uh, turn in for the night. That's just one of the uh, new skin trees, I see. Oh, grab these mushrooms at least. Back 
into Riverwood. There we go. Make some food. Well, I just want to say thanks again to everyone who has been supporting the channel and the growth. Um, it's, you know, it's only been a couple days of starting this, but this has been super fun and it's been so enjoyable to um, meet some new people who've been coming out and to kind of share this adventure with you guys. Um, you know, the only other times that I played Skyrim would be, you know, maybe me and like a one friend who'd be kind of watching me run around fighting dragons and stuff. And um, I have just really enjoyed doing this and uh, you know especially learning how to record and edit this stuff and um, kind of get it out there so that people can you know uh, enjoy it in their free time or whatever so I just want to thank you guys for all the support and um, we're gonna end episode 4 there and uh, we will get back to it tomorrow um, a new episode we're gonna go um, you know maybe hunt down some more bandits, go to Spelunk into some dungeons, and uh, keep making some progress. Maybe kill another dragon. Um, and uh, once we can get a little bit of warmer gear, then we will start working on the college uh, quests and start progressing through that. So um, that's going to be it, and I will uh, see you guys next time.